Hello, welcome to Valve channel. I'm Stephen. When we're going to operate a valve in the flow control system, basically we have manual operation. The workers are going to turn in the handwheel on the top of the valve, going to open or to close the valve. That is very commonly to see in the flow control system. But most of the time, one flow control system it will contain a lot of valves, hundreds, thousands. That is impossible to control all the valves by handwheel, by human being. So engineer invent three kind of automatically controlled valve actuator going to control all the valves by computer. So we have pneumatic control valve actuator, hydronic control valve actuator, and electric control valve actuator. In those three kind of automatically controlled valve actuator, the pneumatic control valve actuator is the most common one. Here is a pneumatic control valve actuator going to control a triple offset butterfly valve. This kind of cooperation are very commonly to see in chemical plant or power plant. This picture is going to show a typical pneumatic control valve actuator. Before we're talking about how this kind of actuator is going to work, how this kind of actuator is going to control a valve, we need to understand one thing are very important, which is when engineer going to talk about pneumatic control valve actuator, we always talk about the double acting actuator and the single acting actuator, or called a spring return actuator. So in this video, we are talking about what is the difference between two kinds of pneumatic control valve actuator, and why we design two kinds of pneumatic control valve actuator for the different flow control system. Here is a manual operation knife gate valve. We are going to use this handwheel to turn the handwheel, going to control the valve stand, move up or move down, to lift or push the valve gate, to open or to close the valve. So that is the basic principle how the manual operation going to control a knife gate valve. Except uh, manual operation we also has automatically control valve treater. For example, here is a pneumatic control valve actuator going to control a very big knife gate valve already mounted on the flow control system. So this pneumatic control valve actuator we are going to control the knife gate valve to open or to close. The basic principle is the same with the handwheel. This actuator we are going to lift or push the valve stand going to open or to close the valve. The basic principle is we are going to use a cylinder and a pistol going to control the valve stand. We are going to use pressure air. We are going to push the pressure air inside the cylinder. If we push the pressure air inside the cylinder in the downside of the pistol, we will push the pistol going up. So that will lift the valve stand. The valve will open. And also we can push the pressure air inside the cylinder in the upside of the pistol. So it will going to push the pistol move down. So that will going to push the valve gate move down. So the valve will be closed. So that is the basic principle of how this kind of pneumatic control valve treater going to work, going to operate a valve. So this kind of pneumatic control valve treater, when we're going to use pressure air going to control the pistol, we can control the pistol move to two directions. One is move up, another is move down. So we call this kind of pneumatic control valve actuator is double acting actuator. Double acting means the pistol or the valve stand can be, can be controlled by pressure air move to two directions. One is move up, another is move down. So we call this kind of pneumatic control valve treater is double acting actuator. So we already understand what is double acting actuator. Let's look at what is single acting actuator. From this illustration, it will be very easier to understand what is single acting actuator. This one is double acting actuator. We already talked about, we were going to use pressure air to control the pistol inside the cylinder. 
to move up or move down to control the valve stand move up or move down to make the valve open or to close. This one is single acting actuator, which means the pressure air just can control the pistol move to one direction, just one direction. So we call this kind of actuator is single acting actuator. For example, this illustration going to show we are going to use pressure air to push the pistol move up. So how the pistol can move down? We are going to use a spring to push the pistol move down. So this kind of actuator we also call the spring return actuator. So that is the basic principle what is single acting actuator and a double acting actuator. The reason why we design two kinds of actuator for the valve, one is double acting actuator and another is single acting actuator. Because when engineer going to design a actuator for a valve, going to control the valve open or to close by computer, sometimes we also need to think about if some kind of emergency happened, if the fire occurred, if the flow control system lost the power, lost the pressure air, we need the pneumatic control valve creator going to protect the flow control system. Sometimes we want, if the emergency happened, we want the valve immediately to close or immediately to open. So that kind of function just a single acting actuator can make. Because double acting actuator are controlled by the pressure air. If we lost the power, lost the pressure air, the valve will never going to work. But single acting actuator can do the different thing than the double acting actuator. For example, we want the valve. If the emergency happened, the valve must be closed or must be open. So we can use the spring to push the valve stand, move down to close the valve. And also we can mount the spring on the downside of the pistol to push the pistol move up to open the valve. So that is the most important thing why we design one kind of actuator which is called a single acting actuator. And also this kind of actuator because we have spring inside the pistol, inside the cylinder. So this kind of actuator are more expensive than the double acting actuator. So that is the difference between two kinds of actuator and the different function for two kinds of actuator. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.